Hey Jessica. Hey. Um, okay, so our physics teacher told us that we had a project to do. Was it the Doppler effect? Yeah. Um, so here's the thing. So we've been we've been partners in a couple of breakout sessions or breakout room sessions already, and because of that, I think it's a sign that um, we should be partners. <laughs> no. What the? What are you saying? No. No. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna take a break from homework. Ah, oh, man, what a nice day it is today. Ah, the trees are growing. It's you know getting hotter. Wait, is that John Dre? Hey, John Dre, what's up? Oh. <laughs> hey, Jacob. Jandre, what was that? What are you? Are you mad? Sad? What happened? <laughs> oh, um, it's because, uh, you know, Jessica, she, she rejected me to be her partner for our physics project. Oh, what's the project about? Oh, um, actually, it's on the Doppler effect. Oh, the Doppler effect? I'm also doing that project, but I'm doing it alone, sadly, because, you know, uh, I too also got rejected by as someone. Right. No, Jacob! I told you I don't want to be your partner! Stop hitting me up at 12 a.m. while I'm doing my skincare routine, okay? Okay? God! <laughs> and she had a wig the whole time, too. Thank God she rejected me. Anyways, you want to do a Doppler effect here since we're technically already here? Oh, yeah, I'm down. But what example do you want to do it on? Because, like, there, isn't there four of them? Oh, we could do the source of sound moving to the stationary observer. Oh, just like what I did right now when I was scootering over here on my scooter. Okay, so on today's lesson with Mr. Lafrades, um, we're gonna be using example one, which is where the source of the sound is moving towards the stationary observer, and that's exactly what I was doing on the scooter moving towards Jacob. Um, so according to my physics notes, we're going to be using this equation right here where it's the frequency of the wave of the, of the sound, excuse me, divided by 1 minus the speed of the source divided by the speed of the wave. So um, according to the multiple class lectures we would have on Microsoft Teams, the velocity of the wave is always 343 meters per second. And the speed of the sound, um, what I did was I... Um, with my apparatus and with my research, I calculated that the speed that I was going on my scooter is 2 meters per second. And we got the frequency of the speaker. Uh, according to my friends and my professors at John Deere University. Uh, Wait, you went to university? Bro, aren't we high schoolers? Oh, dude, I told you, get with the program. Um, if I said high schoolers, we wouldn't seem as qualified. You have to seem like we're smart. This is, you know, this is why the girl didn't want to do the physics project with you. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks to the research at John Deere University, we got the frequency to be 400 hertz. So what we did was plug every value in. We, hit, we even color recorded for you guys because it'll be less or more cool. Um, anyways, we got 400 divided by 1 minus parentheses 2 divided by 343. So, um... I couldn't, I'm not big brain, so I did this with my, with my handy dandy calculator. So I did 2 divided by 343 and um, okay, um, I got 0 0.00583. Um, you do this part first because there's other parentheses. And then what I did next was do 1 minus that. And then I got 0 0.99417. Then I did 400 divided by that. And I got frequency to be 402.3 hertz. Um, excuse the car. Uh, we are currently, we are currently going through some things financial-wise. Um, yeah, we got budget cuts and everything. So I'm sorry, guys. But yeah. Oh shoot, the video is actually pretty good. Yep, yep. All right. Oh shoot, I gotta go now, dude. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'll text you when I get home. All right. All right. See you, Chandler. Bye.
Newton's third law. <sighs> I told myself I wouldn't do homework today, but I still ended up doing homework. <sighs> what a break, am I right? Newton's third law. <sighs> <sighs> 